we will learn how to use Vapi to schedule appointments with voice call AI in the Google Calendar using May.com and ChatGPT. We have these two automations. If you want to download these templates and prompts without making them yourself, go to my school community where you can learn all about AI automation and chatbots. And just download it by clicking the link below. Let's go to Puppy Dashboard and click here Assistance and create a new assistant and click Appointment Setter. Rename to Appointment Setter and create assistant. You can copy this prompt into ChatGPT and uh, repurpose it. This is my prompt, so I said uh, you should have user's full name, date, time of the appointment, and short description. If you are missing any of this info, ask the user to provide it. Now let's go here to Tools. New, let's create a new tool. Let's click here make.com. Let's go to make.com and create a new scenario. Webhooks and custom webhook, the second one. And then let's add a new webhook. Whatever the name, save, copy address. Press OK and go back and paste this address here. Save. Then go next. For property name, appointment time, date, username, and additional info. Description, appointment time, date, username, and additional info. All info in plain language, no special formatting. String, save. Next. Name, schedule appointment, description. Call this function when user wants to schedule an appointment. Make sure to send appointment date, uh, time date, username, and additional info, and create. Now let's go back to our assistant. Choose the one that we just created, appointment setter, and then functions. Select tools, schedule appointment. And that's it. And then enable uh, call functions. And that's it. So let me click publish. Although I think we don't need to. Let's go to make.com start run once. Let's click here. Hello, this is Dr. Jane Doe's office. How can I assist you today? I would like to schedule appointment tomorrow, 5 p.m. My name is Wook. Sure, I can help you with that. I just need your full name, please. Vuk Rosic. One moment. Thank you, Rusic. You're all set for your appointment. At okay, we got some information here, so we caught it. So message is gonna be two calls, one function, arguments. Okay. So that's kind of it. This is it. This is good. This is good. Okay, so let's uh, parse this into actual like data and schedule appointment. So let's go here, use ChatGPT, and message an assistant. Let's go to uh, platform.openai.com slash playground. And then slash chat, but we can go slash assistants like this. You can just Google OpenAI Playground. And then let's click here, create a new assistant. Appointment Setter. You are scheduling appointments. I call this Appointment Setter function with time zone, Central European Summer Time. GPT-4 Mini. You can uh, find this, I think. You can just write this. And then function. Let me delete this function. I'm going to add it again. So you will not have any functions. You can copy this in my school below. Copy this in my school uh, below where you can find these, these templates and other templates and other videos and courses where you can learn everything about building AI automations. So uh, we have uh, time, beginning time, ending time of the appointment, which is 20 minutes after the beginning time, name of the, of the appointment guy, uh, time zone, calendar IDs. Let me click. 
so let me test it. I'm just gonna send this message. I want to schedule appointment this date. This is my name, and it called this properly. Now that this works, let's go here to dashboard, API keys. Let me go API keys, create a new secret, tutorial secret, whatever, create a secret, copy this secret, go back to make.com, add a connection, just tutorial connection, this is API key, save. The assistant is going to be our appointment setter, this one. So now uh, we need to create another make.com scenario that will actually set this appointment. Uh, so this, we call this function, and the function we call, we need to put it into a different scenario. So let's create a new scenario. If you don't understand, I will explain. So let me say tutorial set appointment. Let's make a webhook, new custom webhook, add, save, copy this, and now put it here into this URL and let's scroll down so here uh, current date time and then let me just say timestamp like this so if user says tomorrow we have the current timestamp and then below that uh, message and then say uh, tool calls, function, arguments, and then this. Or let's say appointment data, like this. And that's it. And there is nothing else. We're going to change this later. So let's give it like this. Now this will call the function, will call this scenario. Let me press OK. Then we need to go here, uh, say Google Calendar. So let, let's say free, busy. Yeah, this get free busy information. We need to check if this slot is available. Add a connection, sign in with Google. And then minimum time. So we don't have anything yet. So uh, we're going to have to break this connection. So let's go here, right click, uh, unlink. And then let's run this once. Let's run this once. And let's go here and make small call but for the testing purposes I'm gonna just say here in model I'm gonna say hello I'm gonna remove all of this uh, in our uh, appointment setter and model just so it's faster so it doesn't have to say all of it and let's call I would like to schedule appointment tomorrow 5 p.m. my full name is Vu Krosic sure I can help you with that can you please provide me with your full name first? Okay, we need to fix this. My full name is Vuk Rosic. One moment. The appointment is all set for you, Paul Rosic, tomorrow at 5 p.m. I can end it, but this will. Okay, now we have everything. It's a bit messed up, but... Okay, now we have this, like, this data. So this is good. Let's go connect this again. Minimum time is gonna be, uh, I go here, this is weird, let me remove this node, let's add it again, wool calendar and then free busy, let me write like free busy like this, minimum time, okay now we have it, maximum time, add item here, calendar ID, Let's not map, so let's choose, choose this primary calendar. This is just for checking if this time slot is available. And then let's add a router, so flow control router. So if it is available, so this will be is available, so Google Calendar, create event. You have this connection, calendar ID is going to be my primary calendar, event name appointment and then uh, I say with and then name like this so you can also have additional information we're not sending it now you need to change the prompt in Google Assistant's API and on Puppy to also ask for this additional information so that's it 
start date, time min, end date, time max. And duration you don't need to, and then press OK. Then let's add a new node here, webhook, webhook response. Uh, this time slot is not busy, I've scheduled the meeting. And down below, I'm going to say webhooks, webhook response. This time slot is busy. Okay. Now let's set up filters. So the first filter, set up filter, uh, not busy condition. Let's go here, busy, uh, array length equal to, I think, zero. Yeah. And down below, set up filter, busy, go here, busy, array length greater than zero. Okay. Now let's make sure we run this one, we run uh, this one, and let's test it. Make sure to use uh, GPT-40 mini cluster because Turbo is absolute garbage and it won't work. Let's test it again. Hello. I would like to schedule appointment tomorrow, 5 p.m. Uh, my full name is Vuk Rosic. Give me a moment. I've successfully... Okay. Yeah, it started. I can end the call. It doesn't matter. So let's see if it's going to schedule tomorrow, 5 p.m. I think it did. Yeah, it did. 4 p.m., 5 p.m. Yeah. So this was one. This was the other one. So that's it. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't like uh, how Bappy is working too well. I don't know if it's my prompt that it's bad or... The service is bad, but a lot of time it kind of doesn't work. Maybe my prompt is just bad. So you need to try to adjust this prompt, see what it does. Maybe you can make it work. Maybe you want to use stronger model. Uh, and then the other thing that can that may not work, I think everything else should be like working fine. So I think just this prompt, you can adjust if it doesn't work for you. You need to find a good prompt for you. I didn't have much time to experiment with this. Also, if your time zone is getting messed up, so it schedules uh, it schedules by London time, but you want another time zone, then you can prompt here in ChatGPT, like you always use uh, Central European summertime or whatever. You can prompt it here. 